Hi everyone. I thought I'd give you a quick update on my uh, January usage for my solar PV and give energy battery install for the month of January. A little out of date I know but hopefully you find it useful anyway. So for those that are uh, new to the channel I have a solar install east west array in the sunny northeast of England. Six panels on my east roof and ten panels on the west roof. If you would like some more information on this install please check out my first video which details that where I discuss the components of my install in further detail. So, my first full month of having solar panels installed in the deepest, darkest depths of winter. Let's see how the system got on. So I won't cover December's usage in great detail as I only had the system installed on the 19th of December 2022 and therefore didn't get a full month of generation, but overall I have to say it wasn't amazing. I had a minimum generation day of 0.8 kilowatt hours and a maximum day of 3.9 kilowatt hours and in total for the 13 days that I had it installed in December it generated a grand total of 25.5 kilowatt hours. Yeah, not great. Basically because the sun was so low in the sky it never really got up past the neighbours houses enough to uh, give significant generation. The south facing roof at this time of year would definitely have perform better and generally south facing roofs do much better throughout the year as well. But if you have an east west facing roof it's still worth considering getting solar and I plan on doing a video where it discusses the differences between east west and north and south generation in a future video. If you'd be interested in this please let me know in the comments below. However as we move to January things got slightly better. We had a total generation figure of 121.4 kilowatt hours. Now this didn't cover my monthly consumption which was 260 kilowatt hours for the month of January but certainly made a big dent in it equating to just under 50% of my total usage. The trouble is there's such variation in that daily generation that in reality it didn't cover anywhere near 50% of my actual usage despite having the battery storage as well. So if we take into account my estimated annual usage of roughly 2500 kilowatt hours this equates to an average consumption of 6.8 kilowatt hours per day and on the worst day of the month which was on January the 10th the system made a grand total of 1 kilowatt hour and on the best day the system made 8.2 kilowatt hours on the 30th of January so not bad at all on that day and that'll have been one of the days where we did cover our usage completely but this is where nighttime tariffs such as Octopus Go, Intelligent Octopus Eco 7 or Octopus Flux come in handy because you can charge a battery overnight at a cheap rate and that's usually also using green electricity on the grid as well and then use that power from the battery at peak times to save drawn from the grid throughout the day. Now there are different terms and conditions for these tariffs and um, so check out the Octopus website to find out more and other suppliers offer their own form of Eco 7 um, but Octopus I think is the most forward thinking company when it comes to different tariffs for different uses. And if you're thinking of switching to Octopus and you found this video useful, please consider using my referral link which is in the description of this video and also on the screen now. So let's take a look at the January usage in greater detail and in particular the best and worst days. The worst day was on the 10th, generation started at about 9am and stopped just before 4pm so we had a very short day, a peak generation of a whopping 619 watts. So ideally what you'd want to see here is a steady curve throughout the day Although because I have different number of panels on my east and west facing roof I would never get a perfectly symmetrical curve, I don't think it would be more two slightly uneven humps. So you can see this curve better on the 30th of January which was our best day for generation where we peaked at about 1.7 kilowatts of generation at 20 past 2 in the afternoon. And on this day generation started at about 8am and ended at 4.30pm. In all honesty though this was pretty much what I expected in these winter months from the solar system. At the time of posting this in mid-March the days are getting longer and brighter and we're really starting to see the system come into its own now. And the spring and summer generation figures will be hugely increased compared to this. I'll provide a February and March update in future videos. It's already in mid-March we've had 7 out of the 18 days where we've had uh, 10 kilowatt hours or more produced by the system. And even on one day we produced 18.6 kilowatt hours, so enough to fill my battery twice essentially. So I plan on doing some future videos on the payback of the system. I'll probably do this quarterly unless anybody wants to see it more frequently. But already you can tell the impact that it's having on our bills. Not only is it in March now reducing our electricity bills close to zero, apart from obviously the annoyingly high standard charge. 
It's also given us a flexibility to heat our house using electric heaters, for example, when we have an excess amount of solar, instead of using the gas to heat the house quite as much. And even in January, we could put a wash on or set the dishwasher way running and basically it'd be powered by the sun. So it didn't cost us a penny to do this. And it also saved us exporting back to the grid at a cheaper rate. I just need to keep reminding my wife not to use two appliances at the same time to avoid using grid power. So in summary, does solar work in winter for an east-west array? I would say just about. It does generate some power and it certainly helps reduce our bills. But for the majority of days in January and December in particular, it won't cover that daily usage, even for me as a relatively low consumption user. So whilst the winter generation is pretty rubbish, we can already see now in March and April that we're going to have more solar than we can possibly use during the day already. And this is where the balance will really tip and we'll start to maximise what we can do with this uh, solar panel install. Anyway, I hope this helps. Feel free to comment any questions in the comments below. If you found this video useful, please consider subscribing to my channel to see how the generation varies throughout the year and also give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.